Okay, I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be part two of the tailstock die hole. I, uh, I have some problems I didn't foresee, and that is with the length of this piece here, doesn't leave me a whole lot of room for a drill bits, especially jobber, jobber bits, drills. I do have some um, stubby drills, this is uh, about 400,000, and uh, we'll get started with what we can do. We'll worry about cutting the deeper hole later, we may just bore it out. So let's move the camera over here and show you what I've done off camera. So I've turned my hex down on the end. How much? Let's see. short of a half inch let's get something okay find a scale I can read here it is in sixteenths and it is uh, basically seven sixteenths is that right yeah seven sixteenths not that that matters that much. So I got um, anyone aluminum cutting fluid. Cutting good, but it feels kind of slow still. Speeding up to about 500 RPM.
that's a terrible hole. Hopefully I'll be able to clean this up by the time I get to my near half inch. dimension That's about the end of my quill travel. So I'm gonna loosen up the headstock and push the drill in. But that's my great tail stock. So you crank it down, it's not going to be straight. The length of this drill may be determining the length of this part. We've got another quarter inch or so. Thank <laughs> you. 
that bore but for right now I'm going to open up this pocket for the little hex die Let's just take another look at that and I'm going to go corner to corner on this thing so Seven of four and a half. Let's see what the what the mics say on this. Point to point. Just over 706. So 707, 708, maybe 710. And then I'll figure out how I'm going to uh, cut the hex in there, or if I'm just going to go with a round hole and have my set screws line up with the flats probably be easier than trying to cut a hex. So I want to do 710 thousandths. And how deep do I want to go? We'll just use the calibers for that. 250. 
depth is 250. So, let me establish that. Set up my. Uh, let me get a broader picture here. I'm trying to set up my uh, if I'm going to be able to do this or not. I'm just going to use that previous stop as my stopping point. to go by feel there because I lost my ability to see. But that's how I'm doing it. I'll bring you back when I get a little closer. Let me give you a little better look at that. And we'll be back. Well, I have to say, I have to say I'm glad I was just creeping up because I got there much sooner than expected. clearance, I should be able to get my bore a little deeper down in, down in this area. Look down there again.
took. This is pretty good for a $40 camera. Okay, let's see if I can widen that up down in there a little deeper. Okay, get this thing back. Get this thing back on. get some back here where we need it just a touch and here we go you go in there and find zero Okay, that's good enough. I'm cutting a little bit there. And I need to get rid of this. Is it is limiting my travel. Okay, we should start picking it up right now. just occurred to me that I only gained seven hundred thousandths in further depth because that's the depth my clearance ended up being so let's give that a good clean out and give it a good look Okay, let's bring you in here.
Okay. We're running out of battery. But, uh, we'll definitely get through, uh, as we talked about. Maybe a little unorthodox. to that jet up. Okay. 
Maybe there's going to be a part three to this. I'm very happy so far. I'll be able to use my tool post drill later. There must be some swarth in there. Oh, look at that. That's that's one of them fits that's just building pressure up in there. Building up air pressure. I love it. Means it's probably a little too tight. All right, I think this battery is dead now. So we're just going to let this thing run out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull this off. And. You can see my little marks where I found my center. I took a center finder and on each hex, 